Hello and welcome. The integral of tan x today, but with a difference. See what, if you can spot what am I doing wrong, if indeed I'm doing anything wrong, or what is going on. I will give no explanation for that if you want to discuss it amongst yourselves and, I, and the, try to find out what just took place, please, of course, uh, you're free to do so. Um, this is the tan of x integral, which, of course, I'm going to do it very bizarrely by parts. So, see if you can follow my logic. I'm going to write this as, of course, the sine of x over the cos of x. Nothing funny so far. And then I'm going to rewrite it as the sine of x and I'm going to write this cos to the top as the sec of x. No problem so far either. Now I'm going to use integration bar parts for this particular product because some of you of course do your integration bar parts in many different ways. Um, I'm just going to do it my way, I'll explain what I'm doing, uh, but do use your own method and just check that I'm not cheating you by what I'm doing in there and you do get exactly the same answer. So I do my integration bar parts with a little grid. I put one thing in there to, which I differentiate into there and one bit there which I'm going to integrate back. So I'm going to, in this particular case, differentiate the sec. Okay, and I'm going to integrate back the sine. So sec differentiates to sec x tan x and the sine comes from differentiating a cos but with a minus. So the line you should be getting now from, from there, it should be the product of this column. So that is going to be minus sec x. Oops, beg your pardon, made a mistake in there. Sec x cos x, I'm going absent-minded. Sec x cos x minus the integral of this particular diagonal. And that's going to be minus cos x sec x tan x dx. Okay, just check that this line agrees with the way you do your integration by parts and I haven't cheated anybody. So the tan of x dx is definitely equal to that according to integration by parts. Okay, let's do a little bit of a tidy. Let's go to the next line. The tan of x dx is equal to sec times cos is of course a one. And of course that's a minus one. This minus and a minus will make it to a plus the bit inside the integral. And then of course that has gone now. We have a cos times a sec, which again is one. And of course we got a tan of x dx. And of course, I can subtract this integral which says tan x to the left. So I've got nothing left there is equal to minus one. Who's laughing now? 